For more on this new turf, let's check in now in Toronto with Jim Hunter and Mike Bordick. Well, here at Rogers Center, there's a lot of controversy about this brand new artificial surface here. Now, Mike, it is called AstroTurf 3D Extreme. Not to be confused with the old AstroTurf, but there's a lot of controversy. For some reason, it plays so much slower than the old turf. Why is that? Well, it's basically the same turf that they've had and the same turf that uh, Tampa Bay has down at, the, at their stadium. But the difference that they made is last year they had a mixture of rubber and sand. This year it's all rubber. And it's to really uh, alleviate some of the pressures and pains that players get the pounding on an artificial surface. So it uh, makes it a little more comfortable on their feet. But what's happened is it slowed the game down for them. So adjustments have to be made. Uh, the Baltimore Orioles came out here and take ground balls to get familiar with how it plays. It's a little bouncier, but when the ball gets to the outfield, it slows right down. We're not seeing the ball travel all the way to the wall like we have in the past on a faster uh, turf surface. So outfielders have to be aware of that and cut balls off. Infielders have to be aware, especially on bunt plays. We've seen some bunts that get out there and then just die. Uh, if a guy gets a bunt down on the turf, it's going to stay fair. It's not going to hook foul and it's going to die in the turf. So third baseman, pitcher, first baseman has to be well aware of that. I think it's definitely going to play uh, into the hands of, of the Blue Jays as far as being beneficial for them. We've seen them out here every day taking ground balls, getting used to the turf. The outfielders are out there seeing how the ball plays on the bounce. And uh, infield, our hitters are bunting. So they're making sure that they get this to be an, a huge advantage for them. I think the question is going to be, how are they going to respond on the mm -hmm. road? We've seen a lot of turf teams in the past. If they have extended home stand, it takes a while for them to adjust to a, a regular grass field. Right. It plays so much quicker. They end up being lazy on ground balls, and that could potentially happen here. The higher bounces in the infield could potentially lead to a lazier infield. So see if that has an effect on uh, the Blue Jays when they play on the road. But definitely, they're at an advantage right now until other teams become accustomed to the pace of this turf. So that's interesting. The Blue Jays' advantage at home becomes a disadvantage for them on the road, and they're about to begin a 10-game road trip. Now, you played the angles as well as any shortstop that has ever come through Baltimore. If you were coming into this stadium now with this new turf, accustomed to the way the old turf played, how would you adjust to it? Well, obviously, you get as many ground balls as possible. Possible. Familiarize yourself with how the ball plays. Take a lot of choppers, see how it's bouncing. What I've noticed here in this series is the second hop seems to be the hop where the ball slows down. So if there is like a two hopper, a slower hit ball, you have to be more aggressive and come in and get the hop. A lot of infielders right now are playing the hops back. Now granted, on turf, Potentially it could get there a little bit quicker. They're trying to play the bigger hops. It's just a feel uh, for when you are more aggressive coming in to try to get the short hop or play the big hop back. All right, now this is the first homestand for the Blue Jays, and baseball is by far a copycat business. Are we going to see more visiting teams come in here now and begin to utilize the bunt, even teams like the Orioles who are not necessarily a bunt-heavy team? Well, I think they will. I think all teams have to come in. They have to know the elements. That's one of the first things that a major league player does, if, especially if you're playing out outdoors obviously the wind the rain how the field plays well here on this turf the turf becomes the element how, how are you gonna be able to benefit from playing on here so bunting teams will definitely come out and, and see how the ball rolls they'll try to take advantage of it in, in that regard and and certainly you know try to develop a game plan to have success and take away opportunities from the Blue Jays all right let's try to show the fans the bounces here so if you bounce like that see it used to come up to here on the old turf because it was so hard it was almost like concrete it's almost as if the turf swallows it up and it slows it down on impact. Well, there's so okay. much there's so much rubber under here, and and I think it, uh, well, rubber's supposed to be bouncy, and well, this isn't. You're right. You're right. It's <laughs> tiny little pieces of cut up rubber, and it it, it will bounce. But the problem is it grips too. So when a ball comes off the bat and it's spinning, whatever way the ball is spinning, if it's top spun, it might grip and take more of a super ball hop. If it's back spun, uh, maybe off the hands, it's gonna bite like a golf ball would, say on a green when a golfer gets underneath the golf ball. So being aware of the spins, we've seen some balls that hit off the lips as well. There's been some talk around the bases because it's a dirt by the bases here at first, second, and third, that it could potentially hit that corner edge and kick off. And we've seen some funky hops, but they tell us that it's a pretty even level surface. I think most of it is coming just from the spin of the baseball. All right, but the bottom line is this turf is safer for the players, and that's why it's in, and that's the most important aspect. And we'll just have to see how it plays out over the course of the year, whether or not this will become an issue or whether or not it will even out as time goes on. Let's send it back to Tom and Rick in the studio.